uncertain times, sound financial advice, very important. Each Thursday, we're joined live by Steve Peasley. He is a registered investment advisor and president of KPP Financial out of Dana Point. Thank you very much for coming in today, Steve. Thanks for having me again. The decision always comes up when you buy a car to lease or to buy. It's maybe a decision that a lot of buyers aren't going to have so much anymore. No. Chrysler, I think, for one, says they're going to stop leasing cars. It has to do with you need the banks to support you with Yes, you do. And I guess they are not going to, or at least their own financing arm. But let's start again. You still will be able in some dealers to lease cars. The yes. decision, lease versus buy. Well, there's pros and cons, lease and buy. Uh, most of the time, the nice thing about leasing is you get a new car. Right. And you get it every so often. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, every year, two years, or three, whatever the lease is. That's a good part. And another good part is it's less expensive. The Pay bad part? Yeah, payments the, tend to be, depending on how expensive the car, a couple of hundred. Yes, much less. less. Now, the bad part is, is that you never own a car. You never own an asset. Now, a car is not a great asset. It de it's a depreciating asset. asset. So, it's nice, but you'll never, ever run out of payments if you lease. Buying a car, you'll run out of payments. You eventually own the car. That's mm -hmm. the good parts of that. And now, leases, the reason why leases are disappearing or they're getting tougher is because the, the cars coming back, those big SUVs, no one wants them. Right. So the dealer doesn't want it back. The, the cars, they, they can't sell them. So perhaps this is a good gambit. These cars, if you don't mind the high gas prices, yes. these SUVs coming back, probably a, a good buy on these cars. You can get them for much less than you used to. If you really like those big cars, I never really liked them, but if you really like them, and maybe you have a big family, boy, you, you're, in the, you're in the driver's seat as far as buying one of those things. Okay. So that's, it's a good thing. Yeah. It often in, comes up, go ahead. In, in your opinion, for anybody that could be watching, deciding should we buy or lease right now with all the things that we're hearing in the news, leases coming back to the lots, what would be your suggestion right now for them to do? The financially smarter thing to do, in my opinion, would always be to buy a car, save up money, and pay cash for it. I know that's almost, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's almost impossible for most people, right. I understand that, but if you can get on that side and then over the years, when, instead of instead of paying every month, save every month for the next new car you want to well, buy. Further to that would almost be necessary that you're, you're saying buy a car that's not new. Buy that's a, right. A First one you got to buy a used car. Right. Okay. Then the next one you save up to buy that new car, and it, it'll be sooner than you think if you if you're disciplined about saving that monthly payment that you mm -hmm. don't have. A lot of folks have businesses and can write off uh, part, if not all, their car payments. Any difference leasing versus buying? What you can write off? Yeah, well, there's a little bit of difference, and there's a little bit benefit if you're leasing it through a corp company or something like that and it's a nice benefit for your employees okay so yeah there's a little bit of difference there. lastly we've had some stimulus uh, packages coming uh, from federal government There's even talk perhaps in this budget stale maybe we might get one might get one at the state in 2008 is there any incentive to buy a car I know I looked at that and you know it's this thick you know <laughs> uh, I looked at it and I couldn't find one thing in there about vehicles it's all about housing which is important. I mean, we talked about that the other week. Sure. So it's all about housing. I didn't see anything in there about cars. But much like homes, it is a buyer's market. If you, whether you're leasing or buying, to yep. get a car. Uh, get a car year. and get a big one if you wanted to pay, pay really low prices. Okay. Yeah, except the, that you're gonna uh, on the back end have to deal with gas, gas right? Gas. You're falling. You're falling. Oil's it's falling. Below Remember we talked about that, and I said it was gonna you fall. You said you said that it was going to. Twenty-five dollars from the peak. And it's gonna go to a hundred dollars. <laughs> we'll see. We'll check again with you again in a few weeks. Thank you, KPP Financial President Steve Peasley. You can check out his website at investtalk.com, and he'll be back next Thursday. And if you have a question for him, cars, houses, anything, email it to us. Our address is news at kdoc.tv. Thanks for being here, Thanks, Steve. Thanks, guys.